can we move the sun? Can we move the entire solar system? This idea looks crazy, but it may become the reality. We humans are very advanced and we have this mind and from that we have developed a lot of technology in a different different fields. But if I talk about the natural calamity, natural disasters, we are unable to fight them. We can fight with the volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, tsunami. But when it comes on the outer space problems, we are unable to fight. We can destroy very small amount of asteroids. The asteroids which are very small in size, we can just destroy them, not a very big asteroids. So in the future, if the supernova explosion occurs, Earth will destroy completely, even the solar system can destroy. So what will be the future of humanity in the upcoming years, upcoming hundreds of years? Because our Earth is safe for now and for 50, 100 years. But after that, what will happen if a very huge side asteroid hits the Earth or if the gamma ray burst happens? We will not survive. Okay, the survival of the human beings, animals, and each and every living organisms will become impossible if any of these such type of calamity happens. So what is the best way to fight them? Well, fighting with the asteroids, fighting with the supernatural things is not as much as easy we think. Because to making a very powerful gadgets which can fight with them will take a very long time and even we will save our Earth from the asteroids, but not from the supernova explosion or gamma ray burst or a different very dangerous radiations. So how we will save our Earth? The best way is to move our solar system from this place to another one where there is very less danger and it will be the best way, right? But how we will do it? Because the movement of the sun is not possible from the human beings because we are living on a very small planet how we will move the sun but there is a way to do it and this way is known as the shadowic thruster yes from this idea from this way we can really move our entire solar system so let's understand it how does this model work and how we will able to move our solar system so let's get started if you go to space and switch on torch you will start moving but very slowly but if we do this experiment on a very large scale like sun, then it will move. It will move the entire sun. Because our sun exerts a photon waves, our sun releases the radiations. And by using the sun's radiation, we will really able to move our sun. Let's understand it how. Building a giant mirror to reflect the sun's radiation back towards the sun. Pushing it along like rocket fuel pushes along a spacecraft. A perfectly celebrated balancing act between the sun's gravity which is pulling the mirror in and its radiation which is pulling the mirror away keeps the mirror from colliding with the sun. By moving sun we can move entire solar system because all the planets, all the asteroids, comets, meteors are bound by the gravity of sun. Move the sun all the things will move automatically just because of the gravity. The big thruster is not enough because it will take a very long time. So we have developed the improved version of this. And this is known as the Kaplan thruster, which is a combination of the Dyson Spear and the Shadow Big Thruster. Well, if you don't know that what the Dyson Spear actually is, I will make a dedicated video on it. But right now, I'm just defining it, what actually it is. So it is the way to understand the sun's energy. It is a way to collect the sun energy. We will develop some machines and we will launch it towards the sun and that machines will cover the whole sun and will take the energy from that and we can use that energy in any way, in any purpose. And that energy will be in a very, very, very high amount. Kaplan thruster is essentially a giant jet engine alongside the sun which pushes the sun forward. On a basic level, it feeds off the sun's solar wind, but that doesn't provide in a fuel, Kaplan added a Dyson spear to collect even more matter, the hydrogen and the helium from the solar winds and redirect it towards the engine, powering the nuclear fusion. The jet engine blasts exhaust away from the sun, propelling the engine forward and towards the sun. To stop the engine from crashing into the sun, it shoots an opposing jet ahead 
pushing the sense along. It would take billions of tons of the sun's material to fuel the engine, but that is only a drop of water on the sun's surface. So this video was all about a very advanced topic of physics and that is the stellar engine. I think that you understand it. And if you have any doubt, just comment below. I will try to, un to answer all the people. And before going, before stop the shooting, I want to tell you about one person. And that person is very good for my channel because he don't only comment and share, he comments in a very different way. Because normally all the people just do the praise lines that excellent video, good, nice, appreciated and all these things. But he don't only do this, he asks their doubts, he asks his doubts. And I like the person, a person who debates on me some topics and I like this and he is this, Mr. Shazer Aniran. Really you are a very nice person and I need these such type of people who comment, not comments only, who ask their doubts, who sometimes debates on the topics. I like these such type of guys. So what are you doing this? Don't comment only, comment your doubts, watch the video very carefully. So we will meet in a new video regarding to a new topic of cosmology.